What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. It's your boy Kangaroo Black back once again. So uh, let's see who in the, who chatting right now. Got uh who? Curve Visor, X Wing Sports, J Gips, <laughs> Matt Mayhem, Matthew, Rick Sanchez, Demarco. What's up, Demarco? Eddie Jarvis, Stephen Hicks. What's going on? What's happening, man? Give me a rebel on oh, the fucking rebels. Isaac again. Once again, this should be a pretty good stream. Oh, uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm supposed to have two guests tonight. So whenever they uh come on, I'll bring them straight on and we'll get the ball rolling. Uh peanut roll tied and uh Uncle Lou. So whenever they get on, we'll we'll get the ball rolling. Uh Get us some debates going. So we'll just see how it all work out, man. Uh, we already know Uncle Lou gonna bring it. So, <laughs> so it might be a little crazy tonight, man. But uh, hopefully everything will work out, man. Uh, so I'll read some of these comments until uh. Uh, roll tide. I'm not roll tide, but uh, peanut roll tide. Come on, or Uncle Lou, and hey, we know these Disney dolls will be in the house. So uh, we'll see. Let me read some of these comments. Lou in the building. Can't wait. Me either, Tristan Bryant. Me either, man. Roll tide. Uh, champs are on your stream tonight, and they and the chat. Y'all, shit, y'all always taking over, man. You always taking over stream. So it is what it is. We got somebody on. Let's see who it is. Let's see which one it is. Uncle Luke. <laughs> Add to the stream. Uh, yeah, good morning in that, though. But it's Uncle Lou here. Yeah, uh, that's right. Uncle Lou live for you <laughs> on Kangaroo Black's channel. Good morning to everybody tuning in. Yeah, I, I think some people are going to be disappointed because I, I think they want me to come on here and like yell at you and all this kind of thing. I, I really like you. I've been watching you for a long time. Like I, I'm, you know, I consider you to be like a pretty reasonable, not just Alabama fan, but college football fan. Like, I mean, of course I'll be happy to debate the whole Georgia versus Alabama thing with you, but like, I'm, you know, I, I'm not fixing to come on here and just, you know, like a hundred miles an hour, like, Oh, you're an idiot. You're a gump tard. Like that whole thing. I've been watching you for a long time. I really like you. Well, I appreciate it, Uncle Lou, man. I've been watching you, I believe, since 2016. One of my army buddies put put you put me on your channel. Yeah. And uh, hey, I've been watching you ever since, man. And you know, I find you quite entertaining, and I find you pretty smart too about uh, college football. So, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, we just I, well, me, I just be on here having fun, man. You know, yeah, messing too. with y'all, messing with y'all, dog fans. Being that's that y'all are the national yeah, that's, champ, that, that's oh, what it's oh, all about. Oh, I mean, huh? the, the 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 college football community on YouTube, like trash talk, is just such a part of college football that I think a lot of people look at it and go, "Well, they must hate each other." No, it's not. It's not that. It's just you know, fuck Alabama. You know that that's just what? how I feel. It's not. It's nothing what? against you or any other Alabama fan. It's just that's just kind of how it goes with college football. I mean, you can't really separate trash talk from college football. Oh no, you know you can't. You can. That is college football trash talk, man. Yeah. You know, but but you got to have some facts in there with it. Right. So, exactly. But and the facts but, are the facts are that Alabama has lost three of their last four national title game appearances. I mean, that's just a fact. Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> that's not trash but, talk. Like you said, that's just uh reality. But so. the fact that the fact is that your hush puppies have lost, uh, what? Seven out of the last eight times facing my Alabama Christian time. Yeah, but they've won. Georgia has won one out of the last one <laughs> national title games. That's besides the point. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's besides the point. 
no. All right, so, so let, let's do this. Let's do this. You're an Alabama fan. I'm a Georgia fan. Yes. I want you to tell me what's your biggest concern about this season, about Alabama, and then I'll tell you my biggest concern about Georgia, just being real for a second. Like, what worries okay, okay. you about Alabama this year? My biggest, my biggest concern is, I would say, the offensive line, being how they performed last season. Yeah. So that 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 would be my biggest concern about Alabama. Yeah. But I also have other concerns too. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've I've read like all the practice reports and all that, and it's like, oh my God, Alabama's offensive line doesn't look any better. Well, they're going against the best pass rush probably in my lifetime. Like Alabama's pass rush this year is unbelievable. So I don't know how much you can take from like Alabama practices where the offensive line looks bad because look who they're going against. Dallas Turner on one side, Will yeah. Anderson on the other. I mean, there's not very many offensive tackles in America that can handle that 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 pass rush. So but I agree with you. Like if I'm if I'm looking at Alabama from a neutral perspective, like I would be worried about the offensive line too, because of the way they played last year. You bring a guy in from Vandy, and now he's starting. Like so, I, I get that. Um, I think that's a valid concern for Alabama fans: the offensive line. And y'all, and y'all's running game wasn't very good last year either. And and I don't think it was necessary. I know the running backs had some injuries, and like you've got good running backs right now, but like you don't have a Derrick Henry right now. You don't have. Oh that. no, definitely you know? not Derrick Henry. Um, so I, I think there is some like validity to the concerns about Alabama's run game and offensive line. And I love Jameer Gibbs, even though he went to, I wanted Jameer Gibbs out of high school. He was, he's from Georgia. I wanted him out of high school. I love Jameer Gibbs, but he can't run the ball 15 times a game. He can't, he won't last. He's too small. So it's, he's got to be like a situational type of guy. Now I think he's really, really good. Really good, um, but I, I, I'm, I, you know, when I look at Alabama and I look for any any weakness, I look at maybe the secondary, and then how's the running game going to be? You know, I know Bryce Young's great. Um, I don't think you have top tier wide receivers like you've had recently with a with like a Jerry Judy. Uh, Jamison Williams, like, I don't think there's any of those on Alabama's roster, but they've got a bunch of really good wide receivers. And Bryce Young is so good that he can make them look e even even better. But I, th I think it's a fair – I wouldn't even call it a criticism. I would call it a concern. I do think it's fair to look at Alabama and go, okay, I've got some concerns or questions maybe about the offensive line and, and their ability to run the ball. Right. But I, I, I feel like – if our offensive line improved, I, I just, I just, me, I just want a decent offensive line. Right. I think if we have a decent offensive line, we could be more explosive than we was last season. Yeah. And we can have a better run game. If we just got a decent offensive line, that's, I mean, because last year we was horrible for right. our offensive line, especially the right side. So, yeah, we got Tyler Steen from Vanderbilt. Um, so, I mean, we'll see what happens, man, but we, we all bring us some guys back that, uh, was on, on the line. I mean, uh, Seth McLaughlin, I think he's better than Darren Dalcourt. So we'll see if they put him at center. So, and just go from there. But that was my main concern, the offensive line. I also got some concerns with the secondary. I, I mean, we bring in a lot of, uh, veterans back on the secondary, basically the whole secondary, really. Uh, Jordan Battle. Uh, Brian Branch and um, DeMarco Helms. I mean, but the cornerbacks, I know, I, I think Kool-Aid might be starting that cornerback. Yeah. I think the other cornerback is up for grabs with Eli Ricks not being able to get the daggone playbook and, with his injury. So, yeah, that, that, that's concerns a concern. Like, like Jordan, I think Jordan Battle's a potential like all-American type guy at safety. Like, he, like he's really, really good. Right. Uh, he reminds me of... Uh, Who's that safety y'all had six or seven years ago? Has been, has been Jackson. Uh, no, even before that. Uh, anyway, 
I, I, think, he, I think Jordan Battle. Jordan Battle is really, really good. Uh, the fact that he, like you said, with Eli Ricks, the fact that it's not like obvious that he's a starter right now, I think, is a potential problem. Right. Um, you know, because I, I thought so, when y'all got him, when y'all got him, I said, well, that that that's it. That's the other corner right there, opposite Kool Aid. Um, right. And, and don't even get me started on uh, Kool Aid. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what are we doing here with these names? Um, it's starting to get a little bit. Out, it's starting to get a little bit out of control. But uh, I mean, yeah. that's, that's just what they call him, I guess. I guess I don't know. <laughs> now, as, okay, so as a Georgia fan, I look at Georgia and I go, okay. We lost seven starters off the defense. I don't think the sky is falling. Um, but and and a lot of people talk about Jordan Davis leaving, and and obviously we're going to miss Jordan Davis. I'm not as concerned about the defensive line at Georgia as I am inside linebacker. Um, you, you you're very familiar with Kirby Smart. He was your, your your DC for years. Kirby Smart likes to have big interior linemen who might not put up a lot of stats but they take up a ton of blocks so that the inside linebackers can have amazing years. That, that Kirby's had two Buckus Award winners in five years by doing that, getting big bodies on the defensive line that don't put up a lot of numbers, but it allows the inside linebackers to run around and make a bunch of plays. We lost our top three inside linebackers from last year, not just the two starters. We lost our top three. Channing Tindall, Quay Walker, and N'Kobe Dean are all gone to the NFL. Now, just like Alabama, Georgia recruits at an elite level, so there's nothing but four and five stars waiting right there at inside linebacker. But we really haven't seen them do anything. I mean, it's going to be a bunch of names that no one's ever heard of: Smile Mondin, Pop Johnson, um, all these people. No, you know, I don't. You know, I'm not convinced. Like, I know they were recruited out of high school, but until you see them do something on a Saturday, like it's hard to to to, to be completely convinced that they're going to be. Uh, okay, you know, um, losing your top three inside linebackers is a big deal to me, anyway. Even more so than the guys we lost along the defensive line. That that's what worries me. The inside linebacker position. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I know how Kirby rolled me. I got faith in Kirby that he had that defense ready to go. I mean, when he when Kirby was at Alabama, every single year it seemed like I. We, we never had a drop off on defense, no matter who left. Right. So I got faith in Kirby, no matter what part of the defense have to be replaced. And plus, I mean, like y'all say, man, all those guys that's that's going to be on your defense this season, they already got game ex game experience. So yeah. it's, I don't think it'll be a problem for y'all. I'm not saying y'all yeah. going to be as good as y'all was last season. I don't think so, but. I wouldn't be surprised if, if y'all close to it. I'll just put yeah, it that way. Yeah, I think we'll still have a top 10 type of defense. I mean, we we're number one in almost every category last year. And it, it's like LSU's offense in 2019. You can't lose a generational type of uh, talent and, and expect to just replace it the following year like, like nothing happened. Georgia's defense is going to take a step back. The question is how much of a step back, right? We were number one last year in almost everything. So, okay, this year are we going to be top five defensively, top 10, top 15? I mean, I can't imagine it being any worse than top 10 or 15, top. you know. In my opinion, that, that's the I question. think y'all be top five it, on yeah. defense. Defense, I think y'all have a top five defense. Yeah. Because, I mean, Kirby is a defensive guru, and, he know how, and he's a great recruiter, so. Right. So, right. I mean, Jesus. So, now, uh, uh, all right. saying, another another question I have for you. Um, Georgia and Alabama are both going to be favorites in every game they play in the regular season. Probably right. double digit favorites in every game they play. What game scares you the most? For me, it's at Mississippi State. I, Georgia has to play at Mississippi State. Now, Mississippi State's not the best team we play, but if you look at where it comes on the schedule, it's a dangerous place for Georgia. We play Florida, Tennessee, Mississippi State, and Kentucky in four consecutive weeks without a bye week. It's a road game at Mississippi State, so it's a place that we don't, we're not used to playing because we don't play them every year. Um, and they've got a quarterback, and you know this as a Bama fan, to beat Georgia, you have to be able to spread the field and throw the ball. That, like, there's no right. other way. 
Georgia. You're not going to run the ball against Georgia and win. You just – no one can run the ball against Georgia. So Mississippi State has the type of offense that could potentially beat Georgia combined with the fact that we play them on the road in an unfamiliar environment in a tough four-stretch of game. So that's the game that scares me the most as a Georgia fan. Which game on Alabama's schedule do you look at and go, man, I, I know we're better than them, but we could lose that one? Right. Uh, before I answer that, let me let me uh, introduce Peanut Roll. P- Peanut Roll tied. He's he's joining us. Up. Can you hear me, Peanut Roll? Hey, yes. Peanut, you big dummy. I can hear you, <laughs> Uncle Lou. You big <laughs> dummy. Uncle Lou, one thing about you, Uncle Lou, I like your show, but you is stupid, though. I is stupid. You stupid. Yeah, thank you for pro- <laughs> yeah, thank you for proving my point. I is stupid. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, Todd. Whoa, Todd. You gump tard. Uncle Lou, I-, I got five games that I know you're gonna lose. You just proved it again. You think Georgia's going seven and five? You're the dumbest person on the internet. Who velcros your I shoes got- for you, Peanut? Peanut, who velcros your shoes for you in the morning? Because there's no way you do it. You sit around all day drooling into a bowl of Fruit Loops. Joel, Georgia's going seven and five, sir. How dumb are you? I'm, I'm seriously asking. You have to be special needs. Seven and five. Stop it. I now I came I, on I here trying to be nice to my man Kangaroo Black, and I'm gonna keep being nice to my man Kangaroo Black. <laughs> but you must. You got to be one of the dumbest people I've ever heard in my entire life. Look at you, L- little Wayne. looking motherfucker. What do you want? Oh, oh, little Wayne, little Wayne. You ain't even got no grill, you broke ass bitch. Georgia's going seven and five. How dumb are you, Uncle Lou? I did not say that. I said you're going to lose three games. You just said there's five teams that's beating Georgia, so five is not the same as three. But we're not losing three either. I mean, Excuse that's just me, as dumb. Who's Excuse beating me, Georgia? I said three Who? games. I Who? got three games you're going to lose, sir. Who? Which ones, Peanut? What kind South of peanut Carolina. are you? South, South Carolina, Carolina. Florida. And Kentucky, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, my God, Uncle Lou. So Georgia going nine oh and three. Oh, my God, right. Okay. All right, well. I, I, I mean, exactly. look. There's nothing I can. There's nothing I could possibly say to make you look uh, more dumb than you already do. But Jesus, uh-huh. son, uh-huh. you don't believe that, Uncle Lou. Put your money up, Uncle Lou. Put your money up. I'll pay you three to one. I will pay you three to one that Georgia doesn't go nine and three. Three to one. I Put a hundred dollars up. Put a hundred dollars up. If Georgia goes nine and three, I'll send you three hundred dollars. I take that bet, Uncle Lou. All right. It, it, all right. I take that bet, Uncle Lou. Easy money. That's the easiest money I ever made. <laughs> Uncle Lou, but, can I ask you a question? You can ask me anything you want. Did your um did your uh freshman running back get hurt Saturday? No. Who is, who Andrew Paul? That's a freshman running back. Fifth string running back. Hurt Saturday. Fifth string running back? Are you did really you worried about Saturday? Georgia's running backs? Did you did you start watching college football yesterday? You're said, you're asking me about Georgia's Saturday. fifth string running back. I said, did he get hurt Saturday? No. I looked it up. It said he told ACL. Okay, okay, so we're without our fifth string running back. I asked you a simple question. Did he get hurt? You said no, sir. I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that. So if that's well, true, that's bad. Your, I hate that. Go on your website and look it up, sir. He tore his ACL. He out for the whole year, sir. Okay, well, uh, I guess since we lost our fifth string running back, uh, you're still wrong. We're probably going six and six if we lost our fifth string running back. Okay, I see you changed your mind, Uncle Lou. Yeah, probably going six and six now. I don't know who we're going to okay, hand the ball Uncle off Lou, to at I the end of the fourth quarter now. Uncle Lou? Can I ask you another question? Who is yeah. the garbage running back? Kenny, Milton, and Brandon Robinson. 
Who are them trash running backs y'all got? Well, uh, did you say Kendall Milton? No, Milton. Yeah. That's his first name. Kendall? No, there is no running back first name Milton. His last name is Kendall Milton. He, uh, fifth okay. string running back. Who is that, sir? Kendall Milton is the number two. Huh? Kenny McIntosh, one. Kendall Milton, two. Dejon Edwards, three. Branson Robinson, four. Andrew Paul, five. There's Georgia's okay, running back room for up, you. I looked it up about the running backs. They got y'all ranked seven in the running game, sir. And where did Alabama rank last year in the running game? Uh-uh, uh-uh, sir. I said Georgia. Don't talk about Alabama. Georgia, I'm going to talk sir. about whoever I want to talk about. I mean, okay, that's number you're one. you running now, ain't you, Uncle Lou? you running what? now, Uncle Lou. Who's running? I was talking about Georgia, sir. I can't run, sir. My legs don't work. I can't run. My legs don't Did work. Y'all rank number seven in the running game next year, sir. This there year, is sir. no – we're not ranked anything next year because the games haven't been played. If you want to check – got y'all the... ranked number seven, though, sir. In Who the is they? Game, sir. Who is they? Is you ranked number seven in the running game, yes or no, sir? Who is they? I asked you a question, Uncle Luke. You, you said you they. You know what you do, Uncle Luke? You, you said they talking, but you don't like facts, don't you? I don't like facts. Let me ask you this. Are you a bandwagon fan? Um, let me ask you something, Uncle Luke. Was no, no, uh, you, you know, you can't answer a question with a question. Are you a bandwagon ahead, fair weather fan? Yes or no? Go ahead, sir. How old are you? I'm in my 40s, sir. Okay. Name, name the last six Alabama coaches. That's during your lifetime. Go. Start with Nick Saban and work backwards. Stop Googling. Get off the computer. Stop Googling. I ain't got no computer. I got my notes right here, sir. All right. Name the, no last, name, name the Alabama coaches in your lifetime. Start with Nick Saban and go backwards. Go. I asked you a question. Is you ranked number seven in the running game, sir? No. You want me to look it up on Google and show you, sir? No, you said you don't have Google. I said, do you want me to look it up for you, sir? You said you don't since have you, Google. Since you missed the technology, sir. Who is they? You said they have Georgia ranked seventh. Who is they? And then, let me say something, Uncle Luke. So you can't name you any coaches. That's what you're telling me? You can't name no, any sir, coaches. Can't other, name. I, you can't name any coaches other than Bear Bryant or Nick Saban. You're a fair weather bandwagon gump. That's all you I are. Can give you the I can give you the show from the SEC. <laughs> hey, game. You can't even name Alabama's coaches in your own lifetime. I mean, You're nothing I but a fair about the count. Uncle Lou, we, 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 got, we, got, uh, we got Ray name. Perkins. We got Gene Stallings. We got Bill Curry. Mike I know Bright, you can name them. I know you can name them. I know. Uh, look, Kangaroo, I know you can name him. He can't. <laughs> He's a bandwagon fair weather gump who don't I'm know gonna shit. I'm going to ask you a question. Um, what was the score in the SEC championship game, sir? Oh, damn. What was that, 42 to 27? Yes. Did you win it, sir? No. Congratulations when, on your second place trophy. When the last time you beat Alabama in the Georgia Dome, sir? I'm waiting. When's the last, when's the last time you beat Georgia? I'm, period. I said, when the last time Georgia beat Alabama in the Georgia Dome, sir? I'm waiting. You have a one-game losing streak against I said, Georgia. When the last time Georgia beat Alabama in the Georgia Dome? I'm waiting, sir. Never, never. Thank you, sir. So when's the last the time Georgia Bama beat Dome, Georgia sir? in a national title game? When's the last time Bama beat Georgia in a national title game? When you had that sorry coach right there, sir. Y'all had to get rid of, sir. No. Thank you. Thank you for confirming you're a bandwagon fan. We lost to Alabama in the title game in 2017 with Kirby Smart as the head coach, not Mark Rick. You don't know shit about football. Well, you're an what, everyday sir? gump, just like every gump I see on the internet every goddamn day. You can't name uh -huh. any coach other than Bear uh -huh. Bryant or Nick Saban. You uh -huh. look like a fucking mess. Uh-huh. Look at you, uh -huh. sir. Let's look at yourself. Uh -huh. Look at yourself real We're quick. Cut your hair. Cut your goddamn around, hair. Sir. Cut your hair, lady. You need a haircut, lady. I'm serious. When the last time you beat Alabama in the Georgia oh, Dome, sir? Man. When's the last time you beat Georgia in a national title game, Gump? 
You don't even know what position <laughs> Forrest Gump played, do you? I, I bet you, you're such a bandwagon fan. You don't even know what position Forrest Gump played, do you? Hold on, I'm gonna go to Kate. I'm gonna go to Katie. I'm gonna go to um, Katie. Everybody can see you looking I'm everything Katie. up on the internet. We I'm all can see question, that. Sir? Every every question I ask you, we see you googling it. We see you, dude. Turn your camera off so you don't look so goddamn dumb. You look like a fucking idiot right now. KB. You look so goddamn dumb, it's embarrassing. You know what? You're an embarrassment to real Alabama fans like Kangaroo Black. You can't name the you can't name the Alabama coaches in your own lifetime. What's wrong with you, son? Uh huh. KB, can I ask you a question, sir? Hello. Uncle Luda. Uncle Luda left, man. Oh, Uncle Lou. Oh, damn. Uncle Lou, he talked that shit, but he don't be talking about nothing. Oh, here you go. He back. He back. He back. Kate, yeah, I don't know what happened there. I got oh, kicked okay, out. Okay, okay. KB. Yeah. Can I ask you a question, sir? What's up, man? Do you remember Mount Cody block Tennessee field goal to win that game? Look at him looking yeah, on the Yeah, yeah. I, I think that was uh that was uh 2008, 2009, okay. I believe. That championship year, yeah. Okay. That was when Lane Do Kiffin was coaching Tennessee. Yale, yeah, Lane Kiffin was coaching coaching uh coaching Tennessee. Huh? <laughs> Do you remember Lane? Uh, do you remember TJ Yale screen pass to beat LSU, sir? I remember what now. Your, your, your volume to beat low. LSU with TJ Yellen. Yeah, yeah, I remember when. Yeah, with TJ Yale, and I believe that was 2011. 11 or twelve. Do you remember the time? Uh, do you remember the time Peanut had to look down at his computer to name anything about Alabama? We see you looking down at your fucking computer constantly, dude. Nothing, this is this is, a, this is embar you're embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself, son. <laughs> Jesus hey, Christ, you. man! Uncle you're. Lou. I mean, you're not even pretending not to look at the computer. Look at you, Uncle Lou. Show your face, Uncle Lou. Let what because face, what because I you've never face. seen me before? No, I want everybody to see your Georgia face. I want to see your face, <laughs> Uncle Lou. Your face, Uncle Lou. Oh, Georgia Uncle Lou. <laughs> Uncle Lou, you finally. Hey, got that's clean, phone. Uncle Lou. That thing clean up. Uncle Lou. <laughs> but uh Uncle Lou, Uncle Lou, to answer your question about the game that I'm most concerned about, I'm gonna say uh I'm gonna say probably either Ole Miss or LSU because we're gonna be beat up by the time we get to those two teams. Them the two teams I'm concerned about. Because like you say, the gauntlet y'all got to go through, we start with Arkansas, then Texas A&M, Tennessee, Mississippi State. Then we get to LSU and uh, Ole Miss. So, don't I, I mean, by the time we get to Ole Miss, we're going to be beat up. Yeah, I picked Alabama to go 11-1 and one with a loss at Ole Miss. I, mean, I, I think Alabama's way better than Ole Miss. Um, but you, you know how hard it is to go twelve and zero. Though I picked Georgia to go eleven and one too, so um, it's it, it's hard to go undefeated. So, I mean, the odds are that Georgia and Alabama will both go undefeated, but it's just it's so hard to do that. Well, I'm, I'm making my same prediction that I made last year. You still got that bet? <laughs> the Uncle same Lou? prediction I made for 2021: that Alabama and Georgia will both go undefeated and meet in the SEC championship. And Alabama yeah. will beat them. And then we will meet yeah. in the national championship again, and Alabama will beat them. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I've got Georgia and Alabama that. going to the SEC title game too, and I, I've got Alabama ranked ahead of Georgia in my in my ranking. I've got uh, I've got actually I've got Ohio State one, Alabama two, Georgia three. But um, 
I, I think Georgia, Alabama, and Ohio State are um, clearly the best three teams. And then there's an argument on like four through seven, right. maybe. But but I think Georgia, Alabama, and Ohio State are clearly the best three teams. Yeah. What do you think, Stuttering John? No. <laughs> uh, Lou, what you feel? Uh, this is going to be like Uncle Lou two pieces today. <laughs> What'd you say, stuttering John? I couldn't hear you. He was mumbling. Uncle Lou. Yeah. What's Texas and Bennett going to be for y'all this year, sir? Probably the same thing it was last year, a national title winning QB. Why does Stetson Bennett – answer me this, both of y'all. Why does Stetson Bennett have more national titles as a starting quarterback than Bryce Young and Tua combined? How's that possible? I, I can answer that. I can answer that. First of all, concerning Bryce, oh, Bryce Young, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Just okay, for Bryce Young. Okay. Oh, man. That, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But anyway. Hey, it, hey it, hold on, real quick. My, my phone's it. about hold to die. On, I'm on, my phone, my phone's on 1%. So before my phone dies, there you go. <laughs> oh, he didn't got us, man. Peanut roll, man. Peanut roll. You better stop letting Uncle Lou bully you. You gotta represent Uncle the good side, man. Nobody. Stop letting him bully you, man. <laughs> he can't bully oh, nobody. Man. So he ain't nobody. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> have, have you ever been on Uncle Lou before? I went on Uncle Lou one time. Uncle Lou dogged me out, man. And I ain't say nothing but call him <laughs> He dogged you all oh, day. <laughs> and my oh, fact, shit, I'm glad man. you said that, Did, you, KB. All of you you called him? Or, huh? Coach Hayes dogged here. me out the other week. Yeah, yeah. I've I, I been hearing you on... Uh, uh, what's his name? The Miami fan. See, uh, see what they be wanting to do. What's his name? They... Coach Haynes. Huh? My yeah, yeah, Haynes. Coach Haynes. Yeah, Coach Haynes. Yeah, I'll I, I be uh, hearing you on, on the channel, man, calling in and stuff. Black, you don't mind. I so, see yeah, man. The Miami fans out there, do you? You can say whatever you want to say. And to all the Miami fans. You say fans, whatever you want to say. To the Miami fans. Y'all finna sit back and watch Miami play. Ain't going nowhere, though. So y'all the walking dead out there, Miami. Y'all just watching for Miami fun. fans ain't going to do nothing. I mean, Miami ain't going to do nothing. Nothing. But disappoint. But disappoint they fans. Hey, Josh, you leave my Dallas Cowboys, I mean my damn Washington Commanders alone. Them Dallas Cowboys ain't going to do nothing. Uh, nothing. KB what, KB, what happened to that Cowboy hat, KB? I like that hat. Oh, I got my hat, man. I got my hat, man. Hey, I see you in that I hat. I got my I hat. Get one of them. I like that right there, man. I like that hat, man. Yeah, I got my hat, man. Give me one. Now, that's what I'm talking yeah, about right there, KB. See about some of these down, comments, man. All the way down. So, yeah, man. They, Uncle Lou here, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure he'll be coming back. But I don't know if he's going to be on the whole show because I think I think he got a show scheduled for 9 o'clock. But, KB, I got a concern about Alabama, though. You got what? I got a concern about Alabama. And what's that? We keep trying to dress that offensive line up like a pig. That's what we got. That's 
all we got. We can't do nothing else to that offensive line. We 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 going we going to be good to go, man. Uh we going to be good to go. They going on uh Coach Wolf, he, he he coaching them boys up. We going we going to be straight. Kind of scared so, on shit. that one. Huh? We we gonna, we, we going to be good to go. So hey, man. Mm -mm -mm. So shit, I'm gonna see see what these comments looking like. Uh, as we told them the same. I don't know what's talking about. P.S. I'm a Bama fan, but if you uh came at Lou, you have come to the <laughs> have to come with it. You right, Tristan Bryant. You right, brother Spencer. I will answer Bryce. Uh, had a subpar O line and two hip only ball. Yeah, yeah. He did have a so Paul O line. KB. And Tua, he wants to be shout out to, Let me get a shout out to somebody, KB. Go ahead, man. Well, hey, when you want to say wanna something, just go ahead and say to, I want to get a shout out to Smooth. I don't know Smooth, who that okay. is, but he a good dude, a good woman. I don't know who that is. He be protecting me sometimes out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, Brock wanted to come on, man. I have to see if I can send that damn uh that link to Brock. Brock wanna come back on with you, man. <laughs> oh man, I might need to check my email, see what's going on with Uncle Luke. But uh he did say his phone was on one percent, so yeah. Hey, I hope hopefully he'll be back. But now let me see. Let me go back here. Go back to uh, see what. See if I, don't I can know why this think they're not gonna lose three games. What what make them think they're gonna do something better? You 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 saying George gonna lose three games? Man, them folk gonna lose three games. I don't know, man. When when I be saying that, I I just be messing with them, man. I just be trolling them guys, man. But to say uh say that you say they're gonna lose three games, man. They in the hey, east, man. Gonna... I really don't see it, man. Watch, I'm gonna be back on your show. You're gonna be like Peanut, you said it. Huh? I don't, I don't know, man. Three games? That might be for sure. <laughs> Elite group for sure. <laughs> KB and let me head out, man. Huh? Thank you for having me on, KB. I'm oh, oh no problem, man. I, I, pre I appreciate you coming on, man. Um, Hey, whenever you want to come on, just, just let me know. Let me know in the comment section, man, and I'll make sure you get on. Thank you, KB. Ain't, ain't no problem with it. Whenever, whenever you want to come on, uh, just, just, uh, just let me know. Well, they go on. Hey, hey, Brock. Uh, hey, Brock. Put a, uh, just write a comment under the last video, and I, I, I get you, I get you the link so you can log on, Brock. So uh, that, that that won't be no problem. So uh, yeah, Brock. Under the last video I posted, just. Just I'll uh, put a comment, and then I'll I'll uh, put you on, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, them guys was clowning, man. That, that shit was a trip, man. Anitra, I seen your comment about you was laughing. Hey, trust me, I was too. <laughs> oh shit, man, them boys was tripping, man. So it's all good though. It's all good. It, it it's all in fun. But I tell you what. I tell you what, you Disney dog fans, uh, if you do happen to meet up with my Alabama Crimson Tide, we're gonna we're gonna beat the brakes off you. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you. You're right, guarantee. Hell yeah, beating the brakes off you. And uh, guess what? We ain't gonna take no damn prisoners when we do. 
no retribution. Hell. But anyway, <laughs> don't nobody give a damn about no 3318 uh uh mayhem Matthew. Don't nobody give a damn about that. So if you think so, you have sadly mistaken. Uh, can a meals can many millet vanilla vanillas? Can I get a meal? <laughs> Get a link. Tell <laughs> me is the uh is a finesse team. You no, you yeah, yeah, we might be right now. I mean, pretty soon, if college football stay the way it is, Georgia gonna have to change it too. They're gonna have to change the way they change the way they uh do things. So yeah. It is what it is, man. Mm -hmm. Brock Lee, uh, the real KB <laughs> uh, cap, man. Hey, no, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. Me, him? Hey, no, no. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Hey, uh -huh. Maybe him out there as a Florida fan. Don't let him fool you. He a, I don't think he a Florida fan. <laughs> Florida fans shouldn't say nothing. I mean nothing. Nothing. Pick six. This man to name himself. Pick six. Ringo thirty three eighteen. Are you freaking serious? Are you serious? Come on, man. Don't don't do yourself like that. Please don't. That's a damn shame. KB does how peanut roll represents Bill. Hey, man. The man being himself, man. Hey, he just came on. You know, say what he had to say. That's all to it. He, Look, he just had a few questions, man. That's all he had. He had a few questions. You know, and uh, uh, sad to say, but uh, Uncle Lou gave him the business. I, I, I mean, it is what it is. But hey, I appreciate uh, uh, Peanut Roll Tide coming on. Hey, it's all in fun. That's all it is, man. That's all it is, man. <laughs> What's funny, though, but. Hey, it is what it is. Kangaroo, uh, let me see. Kangaroo can get on there, but uh, I don't know why. Uh, out, Colton. All I got to do, I'll just have to send you the link, man. That's all I have to do. I tell you what, Colton. Same thing I told uh, Brock. Uh, Brock. There you go. Just put a comment on the last last video I made. Any comment on the last video I made, and I will post the link right there. I will post the link right there. Uh, same for you, Colt. Same for you, Colt. Just post the link on the very last video I made, which was last night, and I'll put the link up there. And then you can just click on, man. That's all you got to do. Click on the link. And you'll be good. Uh... Let me on. We can gang up on. <laughs> hey, man. Lou is nice to me, man. I ain't finna let y'all mess up me and Lou's friendship when he try to talk junk to me. No, I am not. Lou, my friend. <laughs> Mario, you need your ass beat. That's all I'm saying. I ain't gonna even address that comment. I'm just saying you need your ass beat. Come on, brother. Come on, Mario. Uh, KB, why did uh, Bama struggle against every SEC team besides Kiffin? Hey, man. Our old line was straight damn garbage, man. That's all I'm saying. Old line was straight garbage. It is what it is, man. Got to call it how you see it, man. I mean, when your old line garbage and hell, your offense going three and out, your defense get back on the field, shit, they get worn fucked out. They be tired in hell, man. Come on, brother. It is what it is, man. Ain't ain't no ain't ain't no thing. Uh, let me see. Brock say he coming on the last video. Let me let me go to it. <laughs> uh, Uncle Lou speaking facts. Hey, man, 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 Uncle Lou was on it, man. Man, Uncle Lou was doing good, man. Oh man, let me see. Let me turn this down. Uh, what a damn 
んないです。全然わかんない。おー。Bro, did you comment under the Colin Cowherd's preseason? That's, that's the video I want you to come out, comment on. You and X, X Wig Sports. If y'all comment, comment under the damn uh, Colin Cowherd's preseason top 25 rankings. That's the one I want y'all to comment on. And I'll just post a link to all y'all. Let me see if I can find it. Matter of fact, I'm going to just post a link right here. Okay, uh, damn, that shit long as hell. No, that ain't gonna work. That's not gonna work. What the hell is this? No, that's, that's not it. Let me get it back. Just give me a minute. See if y'all, uh, I don't think Lou is coming. Coming on under the impression he would have a body that got peanut, but hey, he had, I think I told, I think I told Uncle Lou that peanut gold was coming on. Well, damn, that was fucked up. I believe I told, I know, I know I told peanut gold that Uncle Lou was going to be on. It. I know that. So, but hey, uh, can't take casual serious. I mean. It is what it is, man. <laughs> that shit was funny, man. How the hell you get how the hell you get the uh name Kangaroo? It's not Kangaroo Jack, man. It is not Kangaroo Jack. Kangaroo Black. B L A C K. That's what it is, man. Let's see, copy this. All right. Oh, shit. Kangaroo Black. Uh, I never watched it. I was hilarious. I'll give you. Yeah, that was hilarious. I'm going to have to call up Lou and apologize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shit, man. That was crazy, man. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to call up Lou and apologize, man. Or, or, or send him an email. So it is what it is, man. Uh, the link, the link is on that video. The link is on that video. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to send damn Uncle Lou and damn email. So hey, uh, fuck around and have Uncle Lou not never come back. <laughs> Shit, man. Oh man, I'm a fan. Apologize for what, man? It, it wasn't supposed to go that way. It wasn't supposed to go that way. Man. <laughs> KB, you did tell Lou that uh, Peanut was going to be here. I, I thought I did. I thought I did. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I told him when we came on too. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, Kangaroo had barely made it out of the national champion. Hey man, leave 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 my hat alone, man. But for y'all, the the the, uh, the link the link is under that video. Oh man. Beer cans and baddies, man. What what did you think about the the conversation? <laughs> oh shit, man. Oh, oh, he got on, man. Brock, Brock is back. Yep, George's What's nightmare up, is back. What's up? Huh? <laughs> I said George's nightmare. Georgia fans' nightmare is back. They don't like me. You know that. Yeah, I tell her how it is, man. I tell her how it is, man. They don't want me to come up here. They talking about I, King Brian talking about I be crying and shit. I ain't nobody crying. Y'all the ones gonna be crying. <laughs> uh, or them push hey, that ass whooping on your ass. Well, hey, 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 get it off your chest. <laughs> yeah. But we got a commitment tomorrow coming up. He's supposed uh, to. Uh, is, is it? Is it all? Uh, is it all? Uh, Oh, what? The decommitted from, from, from Notre Dame? No, I don't, KB, I don't think he, he going to drag it out to December. That's what I think. Mm. Yeah. He, uh, hey, man. He, this he's being real picky. You got dragged so, the other night so bad that you changed your name. Man, let me tell you. All right. So I was on, uh, who show I was on? Oh, that, the guy, uh, he's a Georgia fan. He's a, he was in a wheelchair. He kind of like a little, 
disabled or something, I think. Um, and Uncle Lou came on there, right? Because I, I just want to, you know, do my little trash talk like I always do to Georgia fans. <laughs> and he come on there, he goes, uh, let me let me ask you something. Since you, he asked me the same question as he asked Peanut. He goes, if you're, such a, uh, if you're a real Alabama fan, how many coaches has Alabama had since you um been an Alabama fan and all of this and how what what all the Alabama coaches man I said I don't know I don't know all that I only been an Alabama fan for, since 2007 so <laughs> I mean Nick Saban's been there since 2007 so <laughs> I mean I, I, I we, know, got, we got we got another guest on uh oh. go go ahead and he he hey, started me like and calling me a bandwagon um, fan. Yeah, hold, hold on, Brock. Hold on, Brock. What's up, X-Wing? Oh, what's up? You Not know, much, good, man. Hey, I appreciate you coming on, brother. Yeah, no problem, man. A good comeback to say when 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 Uncle Lou was saying uh, something about Stetson Bennett or whatever, all you had to say was, uh, y'all, Georgia's defense is what beat Bama, not Stetson Bennett. <laughs> well, I was I was getting to that. <laughs> I was getting to that. But, I, yeah. but you know, I tried to, uh, you know, Give uh give uh Bryce Sean his thoughts, man. Then I was gonna get to it, but I was getting to the defense. What really won the national championship? That's right. Oh, everybody that's knows true. that. But yeah. is the question yeah, is, yeah, they gonna have, is the question is the defense gonna carry him back there? Is that is that is this defense gonna do the same thing in one year? I, I don't think, so. man. You know what, man. Like I told Uncle, man, I, you know, I mean, I mean, when I when I say Georgia gonna lose three games, man, I just be trolling them guys, man. Yeah. But I think I think Georgia's defense gonna be they ain't, they ain't gonna be as good as they was last year, but I think they can still have a top five defense because Kirby is a defensive man. guru, man. And and you know when Kirby was at Alabama, no matter who we lost, the very next year we were still top five every time. So and plus Georgia's deep. I mean, them guys coming back from Georgia. Yeah, they won't start last year, but they got they got some good amount of playing time. Hey, Kirby did say he said I ain't worried about what we got to replace. He said because we got dogs, we got we got some good players, we got some talent on on the defense. He did say that, yeah. so he didn't look like he was too worried about the defense. But right. I I still think they're gonna give up more than ten points this year. Easy. Hey. Maybe. What you think, X-Wing? Oh, are you talking about give up? Are you talking about Georgia's defense or are you talking about Alabama's defense? Georgia's defense. I think they're oh, going to give up more gonna, than – Yeah, they're definitely going to give up more than 10 points, probably like 14 points per game. You know, they're still going to be great. But I think one of one of Alabama's best defenses we've had in Nick Saban era, I think we only gave up 17 points, and that was the best we've ever had. So 14 – I think they'll be up there with – 14, 17 points per game, which is still really good. Right. Yeah. I mean, even yeah. if they give up 17 points a game, that's good to me. Yeah, yeah. that's really good. I'd be happy with 17 points. I just, uh, to get on the Alabama's uh, offense, you know, I just hope these receivers, they do a lot better. And because we don't have Jameson this year and we don't have Mitch no more. So I just hope Jermaine can stay healthy. I hope Tyler Harrell, I, I hope he – they say we may not see him till like, the mid, you know, season. So Why do you like, say that? Why do you say that? Did he get hurt? Yeah, he's not 100%. That's what I'm hearing from uh, Bama Insider, you know. Who Kyle is this? Who, 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 who is this, Tyler Harrell? I haven't heard that. Yeah, I haven't heard anything he, about he him. He came in hurt. He played yesterday. He, he, uh, he played yesterday from what Nick yeah. Saban said. Yeah, but he, um, he said he played. He didn't play the whole time, but he played and he practiced uh, Thursday and Friday. So yeah, but Eli Ricks, he, he should be back. Eli, Eli Ricks is coming back this Tuesday, so that's a good thing. Nick Saban did say that yesterday. He said, uh, "Yeah, in the yeah, first he, but he, he didn't. He didn't play yesterday. No, nah, he didn't. Line, but he, he's going to be playing on uh, practicing Tuesday. Yeah, so. but Eli Ricks got to learn the playbook." Yeah, I know. That's the thing is, I think I think that's the same thing that's going on with Tyler Harrell. Like he's not getting it down pat. They're, these guys are not. They're not learning so, as quick as they need to. So, so what know. do y'all think about uh, our offense? 
far as the line and the receivers? I think we're going to probably be the same, if not better, because we got that new offensive line coach and he's going to make a huge difference. And, you know, when you look at when you look at Bryce Young last year, you know, we had a terrible offensive line. And, and he still and, threw and he, for almost 5,000. Yeah, he still, yeah. like, just killed it. And that just shows you how good Bryce Young is. If we had a decent – if we have Mac Jones' offensive line when with Bryce Young was playing, just think how good he would be. And if we have a little bit of offensive line play this year, he's going to blow up. Yeah, I yeah. believe that, too. I believe he's going to be really good. going to be unstoppable. I mean, just like – Hey, I mean, even, even if it's a little year, bit better. Bryce, like, we didn't even have to have – they just had to be decent. Yeah, they yep. just had to be decent, man. I mean, they played decent in the SEC championship game, and look what happened. I mean, like, I, I just want to say something. Yeah, I'm from, what, from what I heard what – I, hold on, bro. But from what I heard bro. from uh, the SEC championship, Nick Saban brought in somebody else for the SEC championship and, and the Cincinnati game. I, I mean, that's from what I heard. Well, so, the Cincinnati game, we wrong, just, he definitely we doesn't get the job. More done. talented on the on the front, even if our offensive line was pretty bad, we were just overallly more talented than Cincinnati's front on their defensive front. We were just right. bullying, bullying them around. We could run the football on them. That just shows you, you know, yeah, just the competition. What you Josh, saying? Josh says, uh, Josh Pennon says Alabama O line is trash. Y'all's wideouts are weak. This year, no Judy, no Wilder, no Jones, no Matthew. <laughs> Man, shut your ass up. <laughs> Y'all I know mean, he's a Georgia fan. I mean, that's 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 why you have – that's why you recruit, man. These guys yeah. only there three or four years. They oh, got to leave, man. Hey, you going back all the way to keep, Judy, man. Come let, on, them keep, let them keep talking, man, because Alabama this year and 2023 is going to be real nasty. I can promise you that. Wait, uh, wait. Yeah, that offensive line in 2023, 20, 20, I mean, I'm going to say from 24, 25, and 26, they're going to be nasty. I just want to know what somebody. happened to the Brockemeyer twins. Like, the Brockemeyer twins are supposed to be these five star like They done, guys they done disappeared. Yeah, like, I, where are they? I at? mean, well, they're not. Uh, Nick Saban spoke on them not too long ago. He said they're just not, they're not ready. And that's crazy. They've been there a while. They're like juniors now or whatever. Right. Yeah. But they, um, they, they'll probably. They'll probably wind up transferring. Did y'all see Justice Haynes' uh his his first yes. um high school game highlights? I yeah, saw, yeah, I, mean, I, I saw his highlights. But, like, I, nasty! I saw him in my oh my I seen, god! Uh, did you see that block he did on uh Peter Woods? He is so nasty, bro! Oh my god, that dude is yeah. a beat. I'm more. I think I seen the highlight of him uh, and the, uh, the five star Caleb guy. Williams and uh, Caleb yeah. Williams and Justice. Some, uh, another one of our recruits. No, Justice should be a five star. I don't know why the hell he's not a five star. He, he will be. Yeah. Ain't no damn. There ain't no doubt in my mind, man. He is nasty. And uh, took Tony him, Mitchell took him from the door, from, took him from the door. Tony door Mitchell. Dog. Uh, Tony Mitchell. He he freaking he popped him one good time. He tried to run. Uh, Matt, just tried Matt to run fact, to the I'm outside. Talking, Tony Mitchell. Yeah, he yeah, he so. popped um Justice Haynes when he tried to run to the outside. They pitched right. him the ball, and he Tony Mitchell laid uh justice to the side. <laughs> he popped him out of right. out of bounds. That this clean. Burton's gonna be a five hundred yard receiver. Uh, I don't think that's true. Oh, I think he's gonna be a thousand oh, yard receiver. Let's see. Is this a Burton's yeah, gonna be? You crazy? Not out of yard receiver. We're yeah, not got Smith and Bennett throwing too. Yeah, that's you know he's gonna be a five hundred yard receiver. All right, all right, guys. We, we got hey, another dude. guest, Curtis, in the house. What's up, Curtis? What's up, homie? What's but going I, on, man? I hey, never met man. Curtis. <laughs> hey, man, I'm glad, I'm glad that you put me on here, man. I got something to say to y'all. What's up, man? So, week two, right? Alabama. Come on, man. I know. They I know Texas. you ain't finna come on here talking about no text. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You better watch <laughs> out for that game right there. It's going to get you. <laughs> You need to check out hey, my, my preview hey, video. Man. You'll love that. Hey, you crazy. How, you, how is y'all finna get out of battle when you lost your senior <laughs> offensive <laughs> lineman and you're starting fresh offensive, freshman offensive lineman? Do you really think that Alabama is going to lose to Texas? 
It's 48 to 24. Look, man, I'm game. a Georgia fan. I'm just saying that's who y'all going to lose to. Yeah, only Georgia fans think that oh shit. I promise you. Because nobody <laughs> hey. else thinks. I'm just saying you, you better it's, pay it's, attention it's, to that. It's going to be a massacre in Texas. Yeah, I I'm mean, we, we might as well be because Georgia ain't going to be no contender for us. We going to knock y'all out. Like we did last week. We, to be honest, I feel like I feel like when Alabama beat Georgia in the SEC championship, that yeah. y'all should have been out because y'all got shit beat out of y'all. Look, we weren't worried about that. You want to know why? Because we we're knew we back. were still in it. We knew we were still in it. I don't see why y'all were still in it. Y'all got the shit beat out of y'all on your that own field. Did. We were taking that game off to get ready for the big game, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's what so, happened. So, hold on, hold on. Uh, so, so that's what you're saying? That, that's what you're saying? Y'all took what the game I'm saying. off. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. You know, everybody, everybody outside the hush puppet world, they know. They couldn't stop our We didn't even need Mets in that game. We only needed Williams. When he went down, it was a totally different story. We, everybody, I'm sure you know that. Look, I'm sure you know that. Now, that's why I say. Williams was too good for y'all, man. Y'all couldn't touch Williams. Y'all yeah, had two defenders on him, and he still dusted y'all last. Said, Don't worry about it. We still, we still in it, no matter what happens in this game. Yeah, I mean, I knew, I knew they were gonna put y'all in it. If, I mean, they weren't gonna put y'all out. Y'all lost. It was only one loss, and it would have been to the uh, SEC champion. So I knew they weren't gonna put y'all out. Hey, I knew look, that. Hell, y'all, y'all could have just won one. Could have lost a game during the season, and they went on have. and run and won the. Uh, SEC championship, they ain't gonna put you out with one loss. They yeah. ain't not gonna do that. Now, if y'all would have had a loss during the season and then lost to Alabama, y'all probably would have been at it. Oh, hey, yeah. that that's the thing. They're gonna have a loss before they see us and then we putting them out oh. this year. We Georgia ain't gonna lose no regular game, season game. Georgia, Georgia ain't gonna is gonna lose, lose. they're gonna lose one game. game. They're gonna, gonna lose, yes, gonna they are. They're gonna they not going twelve and up. Not with that young uh, defense. You say they're gonna lose how many? Georgia ain't going to lose nine. You saying they ain't going to lose nine? Man, you crazy. Tennessee got Tennessee might have your number. Uh, Kentucky, they just Tennessee might pull it out. If Tennessee you were in the West, you would lose two games. Man, Tennessee it. ain't beat Alabama since Nick Saban. Man, please. Right, look. No. God dang, I, look, I'm telling you, this is a new year. They ain't finna change. Yeah, hey, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what I keep Look. trying to tell y'all, Georgia. It's a new year, but yet a lot of you Georgia fans go back to last year talking about our O line, talking about our receivers. I keep telling them it's a new year. You can't base one year off the next. I mean, same the receiver, but those same receivers whooped y'all ass. That's what I don't understand. Bama, With a Bama trash O line. With a trash O line, we still beat the number one defense in the country. That's okay. Look, we hurt every one of you, every one of y'all best receivers got hurt playing us. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, y'all didn't hurt the receivers. Hurt there was oh, non-contact okay. injuries. So how y'all oh, non-contact? Look, 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 like, look like they got scared, like they finna get hit. Come on, man. Okay. <laughs> All, right, really? All right, if you say so. That's hey, what that's I mean. Me watching we, the we, game, that's we what had, I say. We had to have we had to have receivers to go out, uh, well, players to go out right during the game. Right, in order for y'all yeah. to win, but okay. you forgot about the, the SEC championship. You forgot about that. You don't bring that up. I ain't gonna lie. If Jamison was still in there, we probably wouldn't have won. I ain't gonna lie about that. Wow. I yeah. ain't gonna lie. I ain't that. Wow. I mean, I'm, I'm just glad. I'm just glad he's he a big one he was a threat. That's good he's enough to me. Threat. That's good enough for me. I'm just glad to hear one Jordan fan admit it. I don't need for, for none of the rest to say that. Well, I got I mean, nobody nobody, that can, nobody can stop too, him. Guys. Nobody can stop him, for real. I ain't gonna he lie. was bad. And guess what? We got Tyler Hell. He's even faster this year. So, good luck. I don't, think I don't know. I don't know rock, about that. Right. Yeah. Oh, he Tyler Hill is faster. But shit, man. He's faster, but he's probably not how long but, hey, running. But what y'all think about all um, I mean, it's, it's some that. talk going on about Georgia's offense. What you, what you think? How you think they gonna perform, Ace? Wing? Georgia's offense are they gonna be better than 
what they was last season on the Stetson Bennett? Um, they didn't really yeah. lose a whole lot of people. I mean, on their offense, so I think they'll be about the same. Which they were, I think they were top fifteen offense last year. So I think they're going to be about they top fifteen. Mediocre. I think mediocre. I think they averaged like thirty. Yeah, thirty. They're going to still be thirty-eight. Really good. Thirty-eight a game, thirty-seven points yeah. a game. They're still going to be averaging so, about thirty-five points a game around there. Yeah, but the you know, weapon, you know, the offense, I mean, the, the defense had a lot to do with that too. Now, yeah, yeah, that's true. So yeah. we might, right? Uh, yeah. So you have a hundred defense KB. right now. But Stetson Bennett is going to have to win some games for Georgia this year. He can't. He can't rely on the defense to pull him out of. You know, games. He's going to have to step up and win some. And games. guess what? That's going to be hard for him because he's not. He he, he can't do that. I mean, he, he hasn't. He did, did it in that. the natty. He did it in the natty. I mean, he took. He did one drive. He had one good drive. At the end, and he, and he won the game. I mean, he had one drive. Yeah. So I mean, he did it. He he was clutch. So I, mean, I don't say he can't do it. Got to start off. See, see that that's the that's the uh that's the question I got about. Stetson is going to start, and he's going to finish. He's going to finish. He's got twenty here. He got to go. Go ahead. Go ahead. I said Stetson's going to start, and he's going to finish. Kirby's not going to take the national championship. Quarterback out of the game. I promise you that. Oh no, no, no. I don't know. I mean, I mean, if he get in there and he jacking up, if he throw three or four interceptions in a game, he coming out. I can guarantee oh, you that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can guarantee you that. You but think shit. so? But shit. If he throws three and three or four I mean, interceptions, yeah, I tell you what, out. you let you I, you let Bryce go in the game and throw four interceptions. I guarantee you, Nick snatch it. KB, you think your <laughs> running back room better than Georgia's running back room? Yeah, oh yeah. We yeah, got I, it. I, I, you crazy. I do. I, I totally it? do. Who's running back you? Alabama. <laughs> See, <laughs> oh, back no, I don't, I don't I mean, think our running back. I know y'all got uh, <laughs> y'all got Kenny Milton fan, and Kenny McIntosh. I don't know who's behind them. Wait, X Wing. How, I'm sorry. Why you don't I'm think sorry. that? What? I'm sorry. We, we only only guy we got is Jameer Gibbs. Okay. No, we got Jace we McClellan. Got, you we crazy? Got Chase McClellan. We got Chase McClellan and Jameer Gibbs. But Y'all ain't gonna be able to run the ball. Chase McClellan. Hold on. We we okay. We got Jameer Gibbs. We got Jace McClellan. And we got Roy Dale Williams. Roy Dale did pretty good last year before he got hurt. And he bigger. Trey Sanders. He bigger. Trey yeah. Sanders did pretty good when he got in. When he Bro, got he be he off the line is gonna so be better than guys, Alabama, so they're gonna be able to make holes for their running backs more than our oh, our offensive I'm, that's line. That's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. I mean, I ain't talk, I ain't even thought about the offensive line. I'm just thinking yeah. about the running back. Now, yeah. but if that offensive line opens holes, then then yeah. Yes. If you take if you take our running backs and put them on Georgia's team, yeah, our running backs would look better than they do on our team. Yeah, because that O line. <laughs> Best but that's the, the thing. Country. That's the thing, man. We we going by last year when you talk about the old line. When yeah, we, we just know. said it's different from one year got, to the next. I'm glad we got Utah State to see how yeah. we're gonna do. Oh yeah. You know, now we we, you know it. what? I'm I'm not really gauging the offensive line until we get to Texas. Man, let me yeah. tell you what our old line problem was. And that was Chris Owen, sorry yeah. ass at right guard. He couldn't block a fucking fly, and he was garbage as hell. And I'm, I'm, I don't see how he made it to the damn NFL because he was trash all year long. This man let Bryce Young get sacked almost every fucking time, dude. It was Kendall Randolph, actually. Well, Kendall, well, he Rand- did go Kendall on Randolph that. was our weakness. Kendall Randolph was terrible. You think yeah, it was Kendall? Yeah. I, I think Kendall a lot of Chris Owen on that ball. damn right side. That's what I saw. So, but yeah, yeah, uh, Chris Owens was terrible. I mean, he went undrafted. So, Kendall Randolph is actually, he he's our tight end now. He's a tight end now. He was so bad, he changed the tight end. He was, <laughs> who, uh, Chris Owens? Ken, Kendall Randolph. He's a tight end. Now. He played oh, Kendall Randolph. Yeah, yeah, but they were saying last year he could play tight end also. Oh, so I thought did they just he, did they he, just change him all together to tight end? He was on the offense. You don't see Georgia tight end last year. Man, we didn't know about y'all tight end room. Jesus, man. Tight end room. 
Man, y'all no, ain't gonna be no. unstoppable. Stop y'all ain't got a player that can cover our tight end. Y'all ain't got one DB linebacker. Come on, safety. man. You crazy as hell. Boy, dude, I'm telling you. Tight I'm end. Telling you. Your tight end ain't catching the ball with 10 or 15 yards down the field. How you gonna say we ain't got nobody to cover? Hey, hey, Rick Gilbert. Gilbert. I think Gilbert. our tight end room is underrated. Remember that. Eric, Remember Eric that Gilbert, game. he's not a tight end. Yeah, for he's Georgia, tight end. look at the uh, roster. Tight end on the roster. I thought your tight end would be Drew is in St. Alabama, Washington. Washington. It might be good. Rob Bowles, Washington. It might be good. Yeah. And then look. But yeah, Eric Gilbert, he's going to be a problem, too. But guess what? Oscar Dell, you better watch out on the tight end. And that's what y'all seem to do. Man, y'all know about some tight ends because y'all damn wide receivers are trash because you got a trash quarterback. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. I'm going back to last year. I'm going back to last year. I I mean, you know who they need to do the same as as they did last year. They could do worse, they could do better. But in my opinion, they're not going to do better than what they did last year because now, Everybody know y'all kin on the tight end. And guess what? That was the first year y'all used y'all tight end like that. Why? Because you didn't have a quarterback that could throw the ball <laughs> for a 50 yard. So you had to use your tight end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the pod. Hey. You, know, I you, you throwing the ball, you throwing the ball up to 25 yards downfield. I give it that. Okay. I mean, he did have some long throws to the receivers, but why? Because everybody looking for y'all to throw to the tight end, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm surprised Stetson Bennett made that throw to A.D. Mitchell for the, uh for that touchdown in the natty. Yeah, because exactly. guess what? He is not accurate at all. No, he's not accurate. Hey, but look, what, he what's did, your assessment? He, he, what's he your, what's your assessment of, of Stetson About, Bennett? He was – I mean, anybody, I think he was average quarterback, average to below average quarterback. You know, he's more like a Jake Coker. You know, he kind of reminded me of Jake right. or like, you know, Alabama's 2015 team with Jake Coker. You know, they didn't really need to use Jake Coker that much. You know, right. their defense was so good. That's how Georgia was. You know, they didn't really have to ask Stetson Bennett to win a game for them. Well, I'm telling you, man, Kirby, except in the natty, except in the natty, Kirby, he actually won the game or had that one last drive, but Kirby, Kirby took Alabama to Georgia. Well, what I mean by that, like when, okay, AJ McCarron, McGill Roy, run, have a good running game, have a have a great defense, and have that's a, Alabama have a defense. Game, game manager. That's that quarterback. Alabama. That's what. That's why we used to be have a quarterback to manage the game and don't turn the ball over. That's yep. what Kirby took to to, to K- Georgia. KB. When everybody else, when everybody else was changing the game, going to this, going to uh stretching the field. Kirby in the field. Kirby took that Alabama Kirby to, took to Georgia, man. Alabama, the old Alabama to Georgia. Listen, <laughs> so, Kirby took that and, defense and, and he used to use the Alabama one. Georgia. He won't win another one like that. Well, I say, go let's, just see, let's just see Georgia repeat because if they repeat, then I might have some respect for them. But like, you, oh, you, you ain't can't, got no you can't, you can't act like you can't act like you're Alabama. You could just win back to back national championships and just Georgia's been winning, man. <laughs> you can't do that. I you know? mean, it's very, very I, difficult. Look, you said Georgia been winning. They ain't yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah, Georgia been winning. Last time I checked, this was their only damn win. Against Alabama. Since it's just something about playing y'all. That's the only thing. It's the yeah, because we your daddy. Alabama. We your daddy. Yeah, Bama has your daddy. daddy. Look, man. But, crazy as hell. You, you you know that you know that it was circumstances y'all won that game. It was circumstances. All right, what's the circumstances? <laughs> Unfortunate circumstances for us. Yeah, and y'all took advantage of it. That's what that was. That's why y'all won the game. Yeah, and for as far as y'all repeating, you know, they say nothing's impossible, but that's impossible. That's impossible. Beating y'all every game, but this game, I don't know. This huh? shit. 
We we done came out every time we done played y'all, we come out beating y'all. Man, give the yeah. game. We give y'all the game. Huh? So hold on, hold on. Give hold on. y'all the game. You give us the game. So y'all gave us the game when two or through second and two and six. That's yeah. giving us the game. Hell no. no. He took a stack. <laughs> we we yeah. look. We already missed the field goal. Man, that that no, it, so sick, hey, man. y'all to stop y'all self from getting in the end zone in the end zone on in the whole time. Y'all kick the field goal. Alabama defense stop y'all from getting in the end zone. That's how you look at it. Hey, hey. Curtis, (laughs) y'all thought, no, that wasn't love, boy. That's skill, boy. That's Devontae Smith. You must all know who he was, boy. You crazy as hell. He's better than any Georgia player. Get out of here with that shit. Look, we we didn't even know who Devontae Smith was in that game until that play. We did. We he was did. Daddy. He was y'all daddy. Y'all <laughs> grandpa. We who he was. Hey, you, you, didn't, you didn't know who Henry Rose was either. Well, you, you didn't, you didn't know who, who Jerry, uh, Jerry Jr. Yeah. was either. KB, just like they came out last year in the SEC Championship and scored the uh, touchdown and uh, uh, was it a uh, touchdown for their tight end? Uh, what's his name? Washington. Uh, Darnell Washington. Yeah, Darnell. Yeah, y'all thought y'all had I mean, that. Y'all thought y'all finna blow somebody out. Y'all thought y'all finna when blow he, somebody. When he scored that, when he scored that, he came up over y'all player. Oh, t- toe toe. I said, oh boy, yeah. they ain't oh, ready. Man. I said, they, they ain't ready. All he got to do, all he's got to do is put yeah. it up. He gonna yeah, catch you it. Don't, it was you don't. You know, five. I was like, man, oh, man. they are not ready for this one. Eddie. But yeah, when you saw that slam pass though, when you saw that slam pass to Jamison Williams down the middle, it's over with. He took hey, that he, shit to the house. Hey, he he burnt he burnt our safety. That's it. That boy was right, killer. He burnt killer Ringo so many times. Y'all talking about that's the best <laughs> damn cornerback. Get the <laughs> hell out of here. He's the best cornerback <laughs> in college football. I mean, Bryce Young like, just threw it right to him. I mean, it's not like he like made it I, insane that ball interception. Here, but but X wing, he I got hate what beat so many though. times, bro. Yeah, he, he, he got, got beat so he got many times in the SEC championship game. Yeah, he got beat, and they doubled. They doubled him, man. They had two defenders on him, and he still caught the ball and left that yeah. ass in the dust. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I gotta get on that here, uh, Kangaroo Black. Messi when he Mechie, oh. Mechie wasn't even fast as him, and he still, he still was burning that ass. Mechie was good, too. Mechie yeah. came out of hey. nowhere, too. Oh, like, I want y'all to make a prediction. Players y'all got. They just yeah. be coming out of nowhere. Yep. Oh, Mechie. <laughs> Mechie was a dog. <laughs> hey, I want y'all to make a prediction. All three of y'all. Start yeah. with you, Curtis. Yeah. How many, how many yards you think? Yards and t- touchdowns, you think Burton going to have this season? Shit. I, I, I was going to say under 1,000. I think he's going to have about 1,200 with about uh, – 12 touchdowns. I would say 13 touchdowns. 1,200 yards and 13 touchdowns. I was coming from a Georgia fan. What's, what about you, X-Wing? I'd say about 1,300, 11 touchdowns. All right, bro. I'm going to say he's going to be our number one. I'm saying this. He's going to be our number one wide receiver. You don't want him to be your number one. He, he's not a number one to me. He was hey, number hey, one. Hey, this is at, this this is at this Alabama. Alabama. He's going to be this number one. Jameson right? Williams won a number one either at <laughs> Ohio State. Jameson Williams didn't even hardly <laughs> see the field. They put him on the bench. You 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 know you know uh you know what Jameson Williams uh stats was at Ohio State? Trash. <laughs> he didn't play, did he? Didn't think he had a this man, this man caught he didn't even have two hundred yards in two years at Ohio State. And he had two touchdowns, I think. That was I it. know exactly I know exactly how many yards Jameson Williams had. Just because I got good memory. Fifteen hundred and seventy two yards. Look it up. So but yeah, I, I think I think Jermaine Burton will have. Uh, he's in the right. I'm, offense. I'm going. I'm huh? He's in the right offense. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going 1,400 yards, 12 touchdowns. That's what I'm going. I'm, I'm going now, 1,500. 
Like you said, I'm he going 1,500 16- and uh, 13 touchdown. Fine. He, he ain't a 1,500 yard so, receiver. Hey, I'm gonna head on out of here, uh, Kangaroo Black. I'll see you guys. I'll see you later. But uh, hey, I appreciate you coming out. Hey, check hey, out, I'm, check I'm, out I'm, my uh, Alabama Texas Matt. preview on my channel. Was that? Oh check, yeah, check I did. Out my Alabama Texas preview on my channel. I Feel did. Like. Okay, okay, no problem. All right, I man. did. X Wing. That shit was. Hey, I'm gonna send you a message. I'll I'm gonna see you. message. I'll see you. All right, All man. Right. Time. Yeah. But anyway, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm about to get get ready to get off of here my damn self, man. All right. Yeah. Hey, look, so I appreciate you know, uh, letting me get on here, KB. Hey, no I problem, man. If you, yeah, you want to come. Again. Huh? Yeah, I'll holler at you again. I'll be watching you. I appreciate it, man. Hey, if you want to come back home, yeah. man, just, just let me know in the comment section, man. You keep on, I'll, I'll get you on. You keep on right. being a Disney dog. And, uh, okay, we're going to say, hey, we got we gonna hold that tie this year, baby. We going, we going up. We going. You gonna see Bryce Young at, at uh Los Angeles, California, celebrating that natty, holding it up. Nick Saban gonna be dancing. We gonna be getting down, baby. Me and KB gonna be on. We gonna be on this show, and I'm gonna have my camera on. I'm gonna be dancing, bro. Hey, we gonna turn up. Y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Go dogs. Do something. All right, man. Hey, but yeah, right. just just leave a comment in the in the comment section too. But all right, bro, man, I'll be hollering at you. All right, man, roll time. I'll see you. All right, no problem. All right. But, yeah, man, uh, damn, I want to get some of these coming, man. Uh, Justin Harvard, KB look up. Brandon Robinson running back for Georgia. Y'all, y'all, I'm, a, I'm, a, all right, Brandon Robinson, I look up, uh, look at some of his high school highlights and shit. See what's going on there, man. KB, how can I get on your show? Wally Smith, just let me know you want to be on the show, and then when I schedule it, I'll just send you the link. That's it, Wally Smith. Roll Tide Rise Up Tennessee has the best mustard bottle throwers in the East. <laughs> oh, shit, man. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here cut this a little short tonight. But, uh, hey, it was good to have Uncle Lou on him and, <laughs> him and Peanut Roll Tide. So it is what it is, man. I guess Uncle Lou got some stuff off his chest. So it is what it is, man. That's how it is. But hey, show show was a success to me, <laughs> even though kangaroo uh, uh, both of them got out of here a little early, man. But you know, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man, I didn't expect that, man. I thought we was gonna come on here, do a, do a, a decent debate, but shit went all fucking haywire, man. <laughs> Damn. Damn shame. But anyway, man. Hey, it's all good, man. Uh but I, I appreciate it to Marco Brooks and Wallace Smith, man, and Nick Satan Satan. But uh, you know. Uh yeah, uh, uh Nick Satan Nick Saban Jr. Yeah, uh yeah, Nick Jr. missed it. He told me he had something to do because he was supposed to be on here. They ain't sure did. Uh appreciate it, Stephen Hicks, man. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all later, man. And uh roll tide rise up. And Spencer, I'm, I'm about to give y'all a call, man. But uh y'all take it easy, man. And guess what? It's all day, every day. Roll damn time.